Hey guys, today I'm here with the Woolworths Discovery Garden. There are 24 so there are 24 different vegetable, herb and flower seeds to collect and grow. So early this year, the Herald Sun came out with some of these gardening things as well, but that didn't go that well. Like when I was collecting them, a few of my things like the basil and parsley grew very well. But then the rest of them didn't even start sprouting. So I'm hoping that these things grow better. Like, in a way, they're all the same things with all those little pots and yeah, this and that. So, yeah, let's see what we have. So, first one we have is beetroot. Try <laughs> to fish that out. So, here's a little soil tabule, tablet thing. Oh, and also, guys, don't go around in the comment section saying why you're mixing around citric soil with normal soil and this and that. All the soils are the same little tablets, trust me. So also, in here, it says the planting instructions. That's the... In here, those are the planting instructions, you see. Here are the beetroot seeds we have. I'm gonna leave the seeds and stuff here for now and I'm gonna keep the pot here to the side. Next one. Spinach. Where is it spinach? Yeah, we have spinach. Same little tabular tablet. Moving on, let's see what we got. Basil. sprouting time, the repotting time and the harvest time. So this will take eight weeks for it to um until you can harvest it. So there you go. That's nice and interesting information that it comes with. Okay, so now with these you can see I poured the water on the first two and look at the size difference of that. Come on. I'm gonna leave it there for the other ones. Watch that thing grow. Fascinating. It grows quickly. Wow! Look at all the water getting sucked in. It's all gone. Like I swear, there was just a whole puddle of water. It's nearly all gone. <laughs> That's cool. I like that a lot. Viola. I don't know what Viola is. Yes, that's Viola. I want to see what it says about Viola. I don't know what it is. Uh, so it's a purple flower. Viola is a flower. It is oh. It's this nice purple flower with the yellow things on the inside. It looks beautiful. Oh wow, this is my toe. There. Onion! Yes! I was really looking forward to onions. Now, you might be wondering why onions? But the reason is, so we can harvest it and we can cook with it and we can do a lot of other things with onions. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what we have here. So now, we have another one of the onions. That's our first double of the day. I don't really need to take out the hunting. Um, 
so as I said before in the start of the video, I've tried these things before, it hasn't worked out well, but these can be done with all ages, like adults, grandparents, kids, it's fun for everyone, and I think it really does have a good purpose to it, kind of to get people more into the nature-y kind of aspect. So right now it's spring, which is the perfect season for all these gardening outside activities, and I'm really happy that Woolworths has came out with this kind of thing because it will really help now we have basil which is our second double of the day now i'm actually keeping these tabloids and not dissolving them in right now and the reason i'm doing that is because with the herald sun ones we dissolve the little tabloid things and then we have a lot of leftover soil and I think just with this we're gonna have more leftover soil as well and then over in the kitchen we have um like capsicum, so chip, capsicum and seeds red and red chili seeds which we're gonna try to grow with the same soil as well so we're keeping these off the side we're on to our last two of the batch oregano or oregano, whichever one you prefer. I think we could use the oregano very well, or oregano very well for pizzas. Like we could dry up the oregano, sprinkle it on some delicious pizza, and it makes a wonderful seasoning like topping. I'm so excited to harvest all of these. Like, I think harvesting is my favorite part of the fall. If it grows. <laughs> what? If it grows. If it grows, yes. Last time we went. Yeah. Now this one, surprising, it has two. Sand Snapdragon, which is, I'm going to leave that there. So Snapdragon and, what is this? Onion. For the third time. And come to two tablets. One side. On the inside. So we might want to get another snapdragon just to find out what it is. Because we got onion, we don't have that one, so. Yup. Okay, so. Is soil ready enough? Uh, I think this was maybe a little more what I would do with the soil, and then I'll mix it all up and start planting these in the pots right now. We're gonna get the soil moist and stuff. And we're meant to leave about one centimeter above the pot when we like fill it up and stuff. That's nice. Now I have a good feeling that this is actually gonna work out better than the Herald Sun ones. Like no offense Herald Sun. But I think the worst is gonna be better. Now so far these aren't going as well as the Ushis. So this thing, I don't know, like I think that people are losing interest in this, but okay. So here we have that. Starting off with this one. Oh, and by the way, these papers they actually dissolve when you water them and stuff. So you're meant to just leave it on top of the soil and uh, and not actually take them out of the thing. So I'm doing as the instruction said to leave about one centimeter above. So like. That much would be good. And then this first one is going to be spinach. It says try not to press hard. So I didn't press hard. And there we have a little bit, bit more. Cover, you have to put top cover, cover? In. It doesn't say to cover. It says to leave it on top like that. And then it'll. So you have to cover. It says to leave it on top. You can leave a little bit. Yeah, I'll leave this one on top. Or maybe I'll just cover a little bit. Cover, cover a little bit. Yeah. Okay. This thing. Page. Put that here. So now, living on the edge. Mm. Oh, yeah, the new data. I forgot about that. There we go. Very professional. 
Now we're gonna be planting the beetroot. The sound, it's so ASMR. -y. Now some of the seeds are coming out. It's definitely soaking, I can see it's soaking up. Basil or basil. <laughs> this is so exciting. Right now in my head, all these clouds of all the amazing cooking and stuff we could make with the veggies. And how beautiful the flower is go the flowers are going to be in our garden. It's gonna be a wonderful addition to our little plant family. But still, I don't want to get my hopes up high just in case these things don't grow. But hopefully, they will. Viola. The beautiful purple flowers. Viola. So, we're we ready now? Yes, we're definitely ready. onion one which we have doubles of so I don't think I'm gonna plant the other one the onion should I plant it no the other thing came out with that the salt no with onion oh yeah something else came snapdragon yes yeah, I think snapdragon is a vegetable like I've heard the name before snapdragon google it later the onion and now no not that that's another of the onions now oregano now i can't even see the seeds can you guys see the seeds in here mm, like this slight tiny little speck yeah, i can't believe those are seeds even like, it looks like someone sneezed it looks like that. someone sneezed black stuff and it just came out here <laughs> like little speckles of I'm getting gross with this. Apparently, I don't think this is so. Should they be okay? It's okay. Oregano! There we go! Took me a while to find. I jumbled them all up while I was doing this. Not a good move for me. This next plant shall be... Snapdragon. You have any? The Snapdragon. Which is also the final one for the day. I think we'll have just enough to plant the Snapdragon. I think by the, on the instructions, I didn't really know what they mean by repot, but now I kind of figured it out. Like for the vegetables, if they grow, you might want to put them in a bigger pot or however big it would grow. 
plant, not a tree. Yeah, a plant. Okay. So there. This one doesn't have a sign called the Kabutsa sign. I'm gonna put it right. The only sign that it gave us was the onion sign. Which I'm gonna put that Okay, so yeah. Uh, big thanks to like Wooly for coming up with these things in this kind of nice spring season. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I recommend to you guys to collect this if they grow well. Turns out for me, I'll do an update when they grow, like when they start sprouting, and then when it's harvesting time, I'll do an update for you guys. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Peace and God.